kind of assess the offense so far and what you've seen out of them yeah. over the first few days of camp? Good. Uh, much improvement, uh, really, at every position. You know, we got the young running backs, which is, which is good. Uh, we're much deeper, really, at every position, but uh, especially it's good to see those young running backs moving around. I heard you talking about depth. Yeah. And one thing, it's just good to have numbers, period, right? Because yeah. you had, there were some positions you didn't really yeah. have enough guys to practice. Yep. But there's one thing about having numbers, and then there's one thing about having good numbers. Yep. Are you to the point where you have good numbers? Yeah, we, yeah, definitely. You know, last year was a, we were thin at every position. We are deeper at every single position on our team, which is good. And uh, yeah, we we feel like they're good players. So, um, you know, we're getting tons of reps. We practice. We get a lot of reps in our practice. And, uh, these young guys are expected to come in. There's a lot of young guys that we're expecting to play and contribute, so it's a lot for them to learn. But uh, we feel really good about our about our group. Yeah, which players have stood out early, and why? We, and why have they stood what, out? What what uh, what position? Uh, any position on the offense? Any, anyone in particular on, on the offense who you have seen stand out early? On, yeah, well, on I camp? think uh, you know, I think the the young running backs are really talented. They gotta. Um, they got to learn the assignment. They got to learn to pass protect, which a lot of times you don't have to do in high school because you're running the ball pretty much every time. Um, so feel good about those guys. And then um, I'd say at the, the corner, you know, Colin Wright and Zarn have done a really nice job. And, and then the, the young corners coming in here have, have been a, have been a good, not a surprise, but uh, I'm optimistic about it. Talked to Colt Tap last week. You thought there was a lot, a lot of speed in that in that freshman there. Yeah. Would you, would you agree with that assessment? Yeah, they're all there? yeah, they're all kind of a little different, you know, um, but they're all super talented and. Um, they all can be really good players, I think, at this level. We were excited about the group, and then once you get them here, you want to see what they look like in pads and how they react to uh, you know, getting hit in you know, a fast-moving game. And they haven't blinked at all, so love their toughness and their mentality, and uh, I think those guys are all going to be really good players for us. Any highlight plays from today's practice you can share? Uh, Elijah Brown had a lot of a lot of big time throws today. He had some great anticipated throws that were really accurate. You know, last year at this time there was talk, you know, who was going to be the QB, and it kind of went for yeah. about half the season. Yep. Really haven't heard, I'm not down here, but haven't yeah. heard much other than it's Ashton. When is that true, and if so, why? Yeah, I mean, for us, it all, I'm not dodging the question, but every, every position, we just let it sort out. That's the only way I know how to do it. You know, Ashton's a really good player, he's had a really good camp. Um, but we, we talk about the other guys. Justin Lampson has had a great uh, fall camp. Elijah Brown has been fantastic. Um, and, you know, Miles and Charlie have done a nice job too. So I feel like we have a lot of depth. A little early to tell, but, uh, you know, competition in our program is going to be at every single position. But that being said, you know, Ash did a lot of great things last year, and he's gotten better. You talk about getting better. Everybody said last year that Elick A.O. Manor, could, only, could get only yeah. better, and he was pretty damn good the yeah. last half of the season. Which one or two specific things where he can get better this year than he, than he was last year? Yeah, I think, um, well, one, this time in camp last year, he was you know, still learning how to run confidently just from his, his knee injury, and he was in an knee brace. So he's, he's already faster, um, more explosive. Um, he's playing the ball better in the air. I mean, he's in every area he's gotten better, and I think just confidence of, of playing at this level, and you know he's obviously can do it. He showed showed himself, showed everybody that's watched him. Um, so just confidence, I think, is, is something that will continue to grow. What lessons from the first year here did you learn that are you implementing in this season coming up? Yeah, I, I don't know if any new lessons. I just think the, the the ability to have depth has been the biggest difference. You know, we had played with 74 scholarship guys last year, and you know, times we had one or two guys that certain positions by the end of the year we're really depleted so right now we, I'd say the biggest difference is uh, we can just practice differently um, our guys understand the philosophy the system the scheme what's what's expected of them um, and we got a lot a lot more players so we're, we're definitely a better team one guy who's not here mm -hmm. and on one level I'm sure you're gonna miss him but on a level another level if I can get a little inside football in this it might change how you approach things, say, between the 35 and 25. But you don't have Joshua Cardi, yeah. who was almost an automatic three points. So does that change yeah. between the 35 and 25? Does it maybe I think so. Yeah. yeah, I do. I do. You know, you got to get a feel for so much of the kickers is what they do in games. Sure. You know, so uh, Josh is the best in the country, and he'll kick for 18 years in the NFL. And we felt like when we crossed the 50, take care of the football because, you know, you got a great shot at three points. So we'll see. Really have a lot of confidence in the guys we have here. But I uh, want to see them in games and see their consistency and their range and all of those things.
What have you seen from the tight end through two weeks here yeah. so far? Yeah. Thank yeah. You. So so Sam uh, Roush has, has been fantastic. Um, you know, really physical. Um, he's been great in the past game, and then uh, you know our two freshman tight ends have been have been really good. Uh, Benji Blackburn and Aiden Black are two guys that have come in, have gotten a lot of reps. Um, and you see them improving. You know, like, uh, Aiden had a, had a touchdown catch today, and Benji's made a ton of plays this camp. So I feel good about those guys. And then, uh, you know, Shields Taylor and, um, and you know, Griff and, and, and uh, who am I missing? Lucas. Unger, yeah, Lucas Unger. So those guys have, have, have continued to improve, and so we feel like we've got a, a deeper position. We got a big spring out of Emmett Mosley. Is there any update on his status? And then any other guys yeah. taking advantage of those reps? Yeah, Emmett is he's, he's going to be. I think he's got a chance to be one of the best guys in the country before it's all said and done. Just his toughness, um, his speed, his feel for the game, his intelligence. Uh, he's, he's just really special. Special. He'll be a big part of our offense. Troy, I don't want to speak for the rest of these guys, but you know me well enough to know. Yeah. I know I don't know much. So, and But I didn't vote in the 170 <laughs> people who voted for the, the ACC rankings. Okay, yeah. You guys were 17 out of 17. I, and I know it doesn't make any difference, but yeah. do you use that at all as motivation for your team? No, I didn't know until you, until you just told me. 17th out of 17? Okay. I thought there were 18, so I was feeling the film. <laughs> well, <also. laughs> just kidding. Um, Notre Dame, I mean, just kidding. Right. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Got you. Um, but you, I mean, you guys knew that. You're not. You know, I just don't really spend – we got so much to concentrate on and focus, and I'm just really worried about – I don't know what we, what we are either. So, you know, we're just trying to get better. We're trying to progress. We're a better team than we were last year. At the end of the year, we'll see where we're at. But uh, I, I like our team. Aside from the depth, is there something that's standing out to you on the defensive side of the ball? Yeah, our guys playing really hard, uh, better understanding of the system. Um, they're relentless. Um, so I would say that. How will, how will the improved depth be seen on Friday nights yeah. or Saturday? Yeah. When, when you're on the field and playing another team? Well, I think, you know, for, for one, in, in this level of football, as you know, you're going to get guys that are going to get deemed up. So um, I think as the season goes on, as long as we're able to keep them somewhat healthy, uh, we're going to be better at the end of the year. Where last year, I felt like we were just kind of worn down and um, we had a lot of guys knocked out right. or out of the game. Um, uh, and then just, we should be a better team because we can practice a little bit more. Um, because we have more depth. So I think the ramifications of that are, are short term, will become better quicker. And then uh, um, for, throughout the length of the season, 12 games or whatever, uh, we'll be a better team when it comes you know, games 8 through 12. Yeah, we, talked about, we talked about Elijah Brown. Just what specific areas of his game did you see growth from when he first oh, started? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, he was, first off, he was an incredible high school player. Um, you know, 42 and 2 or 4. I don't know. I always track how many games they won. But, um, so he's always been really good. Um, it's just a, adjusting to, like any position, adjusting to the speed and size and all that, which he has done very quickly. Um, he had a really good spring, and um, he's so confident uh, in, in his ability, not in that arrogant way, just a quiet confidence. Um, and he's got really good anticipation, and he's extremely accurate. And so that translates to all levels of football.